I bought the cheapest C7 Corvette Grand Sport in the nation. I think it might even be the world. I have not found a cheaper one. This is the car. So I found this car on Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not. I actually find a lot of good deals on Facebook Marketplace, but this thing was just so insane of a deal, I could not pass it up. It's a Grand Sport 3LT. It's got the active exhaust. I think these are aftermarket, they're carbon fiber. The Kalahari interior. I wanna say it has a cam, it sounds like it, but I'm not sure, the guy I bought it from just didn't really know what he was doing at all or didn't know anything about the car. It has the carbon ceramics. It needs pads, but that's like literally it. It needs pads and the rotors, fortunately not, because those are $10,000 for a brake job if it needed rotors. I bought this car with a clean title, 39,000 miles for $35,000. I've done my due diligence, research, everything. Cars with double the miles aren't even at this price and cars that have salvage titles aren't even at this price. I don't know why, well, I kind of know why. He said he was going into surgery, he had back problems. That's why he was getting rid of this car. I think he might've been a little bit of a tweaker as well. I mean, but dude, he had it priced super low. I knocked him a couple thousand off. He priced it at 37.5, I believe. And I knocked it down to 35 because it needed a few things. He was saying it needed tires. They're like brand new, no shit. Seriously, they're like brand new. Really, the only other thing is brakes. That's all it needs. And then there's a driver, which is me. So y'all might have heard me talk about buying these cars, flipping them, investing into them. And kind of my whole motto is if I can drive a badass car for free or get paid to drive it, I am 100% in. So that's kind of what I'm doing with this. And I also get to make videos about it because this is something I really do love. I mean, I genuinely love cars and getting to do stuff like this and becoming better at filming, but this car is gonna take me to a whole new level. I got this car for super cheap and this car is valued at like 50, 55 grand. So that's, that's like another 15, 20 grand that I'm gonna make off this car. And that kind of puts me into like Audi R8 territory, Viper territory stuff like that you know are not super far off so maybe just coming up with a little extra cash on my end but i mean i'm right there at it i'm right there to step into my next goal now obviously i want to have to play with this car have fun with it and uh you know make some more videos about it but it's the opportunity that i got i'm super grateful for when you find those deals you have to jump on them or somebody else will all right well let me take y'all on a small tour of kind of just the childish things i like not childish they're the awesome things. These are the super cool features, small, big features that this car has. So let's go. Pretty sure I already said this, but we got the carbon ceramics. Look at those monsters. They're almost the same size as the wheel. Carbon fiber front lip and the side skirts. The stage two spoiler, the stage three comes with like a little clear plastic piece that goes right in between those. So all of the Grand Sports come with a wide body kit, which they look freaking amazing. I mean, that stance on this car is just nuts. I have the Kalahari interior and it is a 3LT. So all of this stuff gets like color matched and I believe it's a whole different kind of leather they put in here. It has the front cameras. These aren't scuffs, these are actually just in the clear bra. So if I pull that off, obviously the paint will be protected. That's the point of it, which thank God it has. The color is just insane. This is actually the black rose metallic. It's not doing it justice in here because we're in a parking garage. If you're wondering why I'm filming in the parking garage, it's because it's super windy out and you wouldn't be able to hear me if I was on top or outside somewhere. It does have the active exhaust. Now that I'm in a parking garage, you can hear this active exhaust. So we're on stealth mode right now. And let's go ahead and hit track. <laughs> that is sick. One last reason I have not been driving this car so much here lately is because I still haven't got the title transferred over and I need to put insurance on it. So that's happening on Monday, which is two days from now. And then I'll be driving this thing all over. And I cannot wait. So that's pretty much it for the video today. If you don't follow me, subscribe, like, and uh, let's finish it off on a startup video.
when I get it tagged and registered to my name, yes, I will send it in one of these garages. But right now, I don't need that kind of bad attention. All right, we will see you next time.